hey y'all welcome welcome back to my channel i am jordan j and today i have a new in perfume haul for you all so i do have some uh full size bottles some travel size bottles and a few discovery sets so if you're interested go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and let's go ahead and hop right into this video all right y'all so everything will be linked down in the description box so check there if you're interested in anything and i'll also have the notes to all the travel size and full size fragrances on the screen so check there and um just so you know i am not an expert in fragrance but i'm gonna try my best so yeah let's go ahead and start it off with the i want you by jimmy chu i absolutely love this fragrance i went ahead and got the travel size just to make sure that i did want to invest in the bigger size and i definitely do definitely do this has been on my list for quite some time and i love it i need this and then i recently smelled the i want you forever and I love that as well. I think I do want to start off with the travel size of it too, just to make sure that it meshes well with uh, my skin and all of that. But yeah, I got this. Next up, I got this Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli by Kaylee. And I absolutely love this. I knew that I would when I saw Vanilla and Patchouli because <laughs> those are two uh, notes that I've learned that I like. So yeah, I love this. I've worn this like once or twice as you can see there's a little dent in it I've had this for about a month already and i've i've been wearing this and i already have the big bottle saved to my favorites in sephora so i can go ahead and get it but yeah i'm glad i got this all right y'all so next up we have the matcha by lamond gourmand and um while we're talking about it i wanted to pull out this discovery set because one thing about me i've been trying to build my fragrance um, collection and I've been buying a lot of discovery sets and I found the Le Mans Gourmand one this was the the matcha was the first one I smelled in here and y'all I had to go ahead and buy it this is only $25 on Amazon and I absolutely love it this is not like as strong as I normally would wear my fragrances but I still love this and it mixes well with my um Donna Born and Roma Green Stravaganza. I love these two together, y'all. This right here, yeah, I love and I'll buy it over and over again, especially for $25. Now the bottle is only one ounce, but I don't mind that because I have several different fragrances, so that's fine with me. So next up we have Finery, and I did find the Finery Discovery Set on um, Target's website. I think this is only on Target's website and I'm glad that I found it. It doesn't have all the finery fragrances, but it has like uh, five of them. As you can see, I've tried all of them except one, but yeah, I love this little travel set. So I think I tried um, the new Rouge first and this does smell similar to Baccarat Rouge. And then I tried the Without a Trace and ended up buying the bottle of without a trace like within a day of me getting it getting it and trying it y'all yeah had to get this i love the way that this smells i forgot what it's supposed to be a dupe of because i did look it up i forgot what it's supposed to be a dupe of but yeah i love this love love yeah i love this and i definitely will buy this over and over again i wore this to work and it lasts really good on my skin this right here 10 out of 10. all right so next up let's get into a fragrance that i found on tiktok and that is this pear potion by amir y'all this right here i had been wanting to try for a while i actually ended up getting this from amazon because it was a little cheaper on amazon and i love it i love it i knew i would because it has pear in it i like a lot of scents that have pear in them and this is no exception right here this definitely smells like pear and it's got like some apple in it too um i believe i'm not sure what the exact notes are like i said i'll have them on the screen but yeah i love this love this love this it lasts really good on me and i've been looking for more fruity fragrances and i'm glad that i got this one all right, y'all, so next up, I got Cloud by Ariana Grande. I got this because a lot of people said this smelled like Baccarat Rouge, and 
it does like in the beginning but the dry down is totally different this is much much lighter than the baccarat rouge and to me it's like more fresh than the baccarat rouge is but i still like it so i kept it definitely still gonna wear it and i have been wearing it i don't know if you can see the little dent in it but i definitely have been wearing this i actually want to try the new cloud in the pink bottle um so yeah i'll definitely be trying that out but yeah i love this all right and the last full size bottle i got is the infamous miami nectar by ellis brooklyn i love this i smelled this when we went to nashville and i got it immediately like immediately because i love it so so much this definitely smells like summer i'm gonna be wearing it in the fall too though just so you know i don't really uh i'm not one of those people who puts my fragrances in seasonal categories I'm going to wear them whenever I feel like wearing them. So this I'm definitely going to be wearing throughout the fall, winter, summer, spring, all seasons. But yeah, I love this and I'm glad that I got it. All right, y'all. So next up, we're going to get into the discovery set. So if you're like me and you're like trying to build um, your fragrance collection and you're trying to figure out like what types of fragrances that you like, a discovery set or a travel size um, of a fragrance is the best route to take because you're not going to spend as much money as you are on like a full size bottle of something. Find out you don't like it and you may or may not be able to return it depending on where you got it from. So for me, I definitely am into buying discovery sets. So piggybacking off that Miami Nectar, I did after I smelled that get the Ellis Brooklyn discovery set. As you can see, I've used quite a few of these scents. This came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different scents from the Ellis Brooklyn line. And I know there's two of these that I want to uh, buy full bottles of so far, and that's Floris and Super Amber. I love both of those and the one there's one in here that I really did not like and it was this Apris or a pre I'll have it on the screen because I can't I think I'm pronouncing it wrong but um yeah this is a great way to find out what you like and what you don't like like I said I don't like this Apris so I'm glad I didn't you know get the full size bottle to start with but I do like florist and I like super amber so yeah that's what I like out of these. All right, y'all. So next up, we have the Finery Discovery Set right here. This one came with like five fragrances. And this was probably, can't remember, but I know it was probably about $30. I don't think it was more than $30. That Ellis Brooklyn one may have been $30 as well. But this right here, it came with five of their fragrances. Like I mentioned, the new Rouge is supposed to be like Baccarat Rouge. I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to get the bigger bottle of that or not, but I did get the without a trace, which I already told you. And in this one so far, I don't like pistachio, please. I wore that one the other day and I really didn't care for it at all. So definitely won't be picking that up. And then I just have one more in here left to try. So yeah I'm definitely gonna try that so next up we're gonna talk about the Le Monde Gourmand discovery set again y'all I looked up on this right here this came with comes with 10 different fragrances and they are not the little sample size fragrances I don't know how well you can tell but these are like almost travel size fragrances and I got this for $40 from Nordstrom Rack that is a great deal and if it's still on the website of course it'll be linked down below so check there and I also had already linked this on my LTK, so make sure you're following me on LTK so that you don't miss anything. So I have linked this as well as the Target um, sample set on LTK already, but y'all, this right here was a great deal. Uh, and everything in here so far that I've tried, I want the big bottle of, so <laughs> yeah. And like I said, the bottles of these are only like $25, so You'll, you'll probably be seeing several of these like in upcoming fragrance hauls because I'm definitely going to do fragrance hauls more. Y'all, this right here, this was a steal. It was a steal. It's got five on the front and then it had five on the back, y'all. Come on now, where can you go and get 10 fragrances for 40 bucks? Nowhere. So yeah, make sure you check the description box for this. Is this a steal? Next up, I found this Betsy Johnson set on uh, Nordstrom Rack as well. I think this one 
I was surprised when this one's on the back. This was only $15. And these are some nice size bottles as well. I think these are bigger than the matcha bottles. Um, also, they're like, um, what's the ounces on these? These are 0.5 fluid ounces, which I think is a great deal because I got three bottles. I've only tried the Pretty and Punk, which is why it's not in here. I've only tried the Pretty and Punk so far. Haven't tried these other two yet, but um, yeah. Love the Pretty and Punk. It's like a spicier fragrance. And then once I try these other two, I'll probably let y'all know how they are. All right, y'all. So next up we have Forever Mood. Of course, I had to get this to try. But of course, I had to get these to try. Now, I haven't been using them as much because I don't want to use them all up and not have any more to use. <laughs> I'm waiting on her to restock. The first one I want is the hard to get because I love that's my favorite out of all of them. I love all of them. I want them all. If we're being honest, I want them all. But the hard to get is definitely my number one favorite. I need it. I need it. I need it. I don't know how well you can see, but I've used Oh my goodness <laughs> i've used almost all of these up but yeah i'm trying not to use them so much because i i don't want to use it up and not have it when i want to wear it so yeah all right y'all so next up is a brand that i just kind of discovered when i was scrolling on nordstrom one day and it's by rosie jane this one came with one two three four five six seven different uh fragrances inside and this is how they came like this i haven't used uh but three of these but so far so good i don't think i found one in here that i don't like yet said so far so good um but yeah i'm definitely out of this one gonna be purchasing layla lou um and dulce absolutely love those two those two right there especially that layla lou yeah and if you like chocolate which i didn't even know that i like chocolate as a note until i put that dulce on yeah yeah because it's like chocolate and vanilla yeah yeah that's all i can say is yo yeah. so next up i got the joe malone um discovery set and this one had five fragrances in it I've used all of them except for the wood, sage, and sea salt. Um, and out of these so far, I do want to purchase a bigger bottle of the Peony and Blush Suede. Love that. Love it so much. I think that's my favorite. And then uh, the Nectarine and Honey Blossom as well. And then today I actually have on Wild Bluebell. And it smells like, I don't hate the scent of it, but I don't like that it smells like grass when you first spray it. Like now I can't really smell it like all that well, like at all. But yeah, I probably won't be purchasing a bigger bottle of that one, but definitely the Peony and Blush Suede and the Nectarine and Honey Blossom or the Nectarine Blossom and Honey rather, I'm saying it wrong. The Nectarine Blossom and Honey, definitely gonna be purchasing bigger bottles of those. I wish they had more of the Joe Malone, jo Malone scents in the um, Discovery set, but they don't. But it's okay, because I'm going to just go find the travel sizes. All right, y'all. And last but not least, if you're trying to dip, dip your toe into luxury fragrances like I am, if you go directly to most of the luxury fragrance sites, they actually sell Discovery sets on there, and they don't cost like too much. Like I've seen some from like probably 50 to $60, which to me, I don't think it's bad, especially for what you get. So I did go to MFK's website and I got their discovery set. This came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different fragrances. And it was only like $50. I don't think that's a bad deal, especially for this brand. I don't think that's a bad deal at all. I have tried all eight so this box is definitely empty i've tried all eight of these now out of these i do want <laughs> several of them and you know these are expensive so i'm definitely gonna be getting them one at a time <laughs> i want the aqua media the 724 the gentle fluidity gold the grand soir and but of course i want the baccarat rouge 540. I was hoping that I wouldn't, but I should have known when I saw it had amber in it that I was going to love it. Because one thing about me, I love I love me some amber. Love me some amber. 
So if you're looking for, you know, a way to try out luxury fragrances and not spending too much money on them, go on the website and look for the discovery set because I guarantee you they have one and it's not going to cost you too much money. It's better to get eight fragrances for $50 than paying 300, you know, two, $300 for one fragrance and then you not like it. And like I said, you may or may not be able to return it depending on where you bought it from. So yeah, I'd rather bet my money on the discovery set.